Good morning, crypto family. David here with another cryptocurrency update. Today, I want to discuss Tether along with Coinbase and Binance. And we're going to kind of just use those two as the biggest um, coin exchanges out there. So we'll use them as our example point. But it's really kind of a, a question as to why the market is so attached to Bitcoin itself. And when you look at what you have to do, I mean, even on platforms where you can buy directly uh, with your with your fiat, that doesn't really exist too too uh, easily within the United States. So, you know, if you want to access a majority of the altcoins in the market, there's not really an easy way to get to it. Let, let's say in California, you can use Uphold, but Uphold still has a lot of restrictions and is not as fluid of an exchange. I don't even know if they can be considered an exchange, but they're not as uh, full bore as buying and selling and transferring. It's more just a, a hold on, on Uphold. <laughs> I guess that's why they call it hold. But... Uh, on a Coinbase, for example, you can buy, you can sell, you can transfer, you can hold, you know, and then Coinbase is doing all of their, their, um, you know, big, big investment uh, end stuff as well. So there's a lot of doors opening up that I think Coinbase is trying to work through. But if we use the fact that Coinbase doesn't host anything more than Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, and Bitcoin Cash as a big reason to why a lot of the cryptocurrencies don't have the same market liquidity as those those four that are listed there. And, you know, I'm, I'm referencing a lot of this stuff for the states. I know if you guys live abroad, uh, there's a lot of places where you can buy your cryptocurrency that directly links to your fiat. And I think once America opens its doors to that, and starts to allow the regulated ETFs and the hedge funds and everything to really start moving their money safely and securely that we're going to start to see the exchanges themselves are most likely going to start to offer fiat pairing for the alt sector. You know, I mean, GDAX, I know GDAX had a lot of coins, but GDAX was an extremely difficult system to use. It wasn't for novices. It wasn't for people that have never used cryptocurrencies before. It was more or less for, you know, second or third stage investors that really know exactly what they're doing because you can really get swamped using using a platform like Ether Delta, where you can get access to a lot of coins that are not listed on some of the bigger exchanges, but they come with higher risk. So obviously be careful which exchanges you put your money into, but don't be afraid. I've said it in plenty of my other videos. You know, this space, you know, we're looking at a, at a space that's going down. I mean, today, even we're setting new lows, you know, not as far as the Bitcoin price goes, but when you look at the XRP price and then you start to compare it to where we've been and where we're going, and then you uh, start to wrap your head around the Satoshi prices. It's a very, it's a very complex market to be in right now, but stick with it. Don't be afraid. And hopefully Tether is not going to be something that explodes the market. Somebody made a comment on one of my other videos that said, you know, at some point Tether was going to explode, take Bitcoin down to 4,000, and then he thought he would have the opportunity to purchase, you know, a bunch of Bitcoin at 4,000 or around there. That was his prediction. I don't know. I told him that we probably wouldn't see 4,000 again. And um, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. But wait for the fiat pairings. They're coming. I believe they're coming. And if they do come, it'll start to 
it'll start to create more of a natural market around this industry because everything won't be so tied up to each other. Bitcoin won't be the won't be the leader or the killer of the market depending on which way it feels like going because people have their US dollar tied into things not their US tether. I mean as soon as we can un crypto back the end of this for ourselves and we can actually put our fiat on the other end of a sale I think that'll be really important for a lot of investors like I said it's all in the security it's all in the comfort and the ease of transaction if it's easy to get in if it's easy to get out and you don't have to worry about selling out your asset into a Bitcoin which is just as volatile which is gonna net you a zero gain or getting into a USDT, which obviously can suffer the repercussions of really negative news, which can just destroy it. You know, if news was to come out that they're not actually one to one backed, and it would just be, it would be really crazy. And yeah, there would be some buying opportunities around then. I'm not saying that there's an easy enough way for us to get our money out and like sit it on the sideline and just wait if we're invested in the alts because that just kind of leaves you tied into systems that can break you kind of like we've already been broken anybody who's ridden through this since since january knows we've been really smashed and if you're continuously investing if you're continuously researching it means that you are a believer and a follower of the technology so i wish you luck and godspeed for that matter to the moon we go.